All right, so this is an attempt to show you the Dragon Archer segment, the fast, the cheap, the easy way, if you're tired of fooling with it. I actually gotten past this part of the game the first time I tried. I got past both archers, and then I died stupidly before I got to the bonfire, which is somewhat difficult to do, I realize, but, you know, that's how it is sometimes. Anyway, so, you know, I fought all the enemies through that section you know, this section, starting from the bonfire going up here, I fought them all several times through, you know, in an attempt to get back up the uh, bridge and finish off both nights. It took me about ten more tries after that first successful attempt to get back to where I was, which is irritating, but, you know, that's kind of how the game is, so not a big deal. Anyway, <clears throat> this is the fast way to do it. You don't have to fight a lot of the enemies. You can skip them. You can uh, make them fall off ledges, that sort of thing. And this is pretty, pretty reliable for the most part. I've run through this enough times to where I know this is a more or less predictable way to go about it with the equipment I have. Spirit level 51, I have lightning spear plus one or two, grass shield plus nine. That's about it. All right, so you see those demons on the left? You can aggro them on the right. You can aggro them from here with the bow and arrow. I would recommend you wait. I'll show you why. The middle one is uh, easier to take care of later. These sentinels, they're easy to beat, but if you don't want to fight them because they're a hassle, you just run past them. Keep your shield up as you go past the, that guy in case he hits you. You just keep running. Don't stop. Keep going until you get around this little corner here and wait. And you see that sentinel that you aggroed, he'll back up because he doesn't like stairs. And he will go right back to where he started. He will reset his position and he will leave you alone as long as you stay out of that area. Which you, you won't have to go back there if you get past here. Okay, so these demons. You can take care of the middle demon on this little plateau thing with one arrow. I've taken care of all three of them with one arrow each by knocking them off, but that's a bit tricky. You, know, you try to hit the guy the first time. Okay, so he's gone with one arrow, knock off, straight to the head. This guy I've knocked off before, but he usually moves, so it's a little bit difficult. As you can see, yeah, he, see, he doesn't let you knock him off, so you have to switch back to the weapon. This should be the only one of these three you have to actually fight. You can knock him off if you get lucky, but it usually doesn't work out too well. Um, in general, you want to try to keep him up here and not let him get down there, but, you know, either way. The guy on the left, you don't have to even touch. If you just wait and stand next to that, that edge of that the balcony, he'll try to attack you through it unsuccessfully and then fall off in the attempt, as I believe he does off camera here in a second. Just like that, right? They, they will both see the other guy fell off too. If you just stand right where I am now with that guy on the left, he will fall off eventually. Just he'll keep attacking you and, and missing, and he'll fall off. They're easy to knock off. These two guys down here, you don't have to fight them at all, actually. Just keep going once you get down here. You just start running, right? The guy on the left, guy on the right. Keep your shield up in case the guy on the left hits you. Turn around, go left. Just keep running up this thing. Don't stop. As long as you keep moving and are charging, the arrows won't hit you, and the other guys will miss you. They might get you behind with a lucky shot like that, but that'll be it because, you see, they're stuck there. They can't go up there. They won't be able to attack or do anything. The guy on the right will probably fall off, actually, eventually. Now, going around here, just make your decision to go and keep moving. Don't run. You don't have to run around this part. Just keep moving. Don't stop. Get on the middle thing. Just keep going. Again, I'm not running. I'm just walking. Just keep moving. The guy on the right we're taking care of first. He's the tricky one, all right? Keep your shield up. And you're going to have to dodge one arrow like that, right? And then just wait for him to switch to sword. Take your targeting off so you can keep your camera straight. And, yeah, see, there you go. Just let him fall. It's easy for them to fall off here. It's easy for you to fall off as well. But if you uh, just play it safe, eventually they'll make a mistake and fall off. This guy, again, keep your shield up. He can still hit you here. Wait for him to switch to sword. And then just kind of get him to charge you. And, well, there he fell off again. Damn, he's done. All right, and that's pretty much it.